Hey everybody, uh, Rubber Mold Man here. Just want to do a quick video that I promised a long time ago. I do apologize for the lack of uploads. Uh, I won't uh, bore you with the details in the video, but I'll give a brief description of what's been going on underneath the video, as well as my contact info uh, and the uh, link to my website if you're interested. But today I just want to do a quick video showing how to dry brush a uh, finish on a rather smooth piece. Uh, because that's a little difficult uh, for some people till they learn a simple little technique. So I'm going to show you that here today. So if you want to get a little closer. First step, of course, with regular dry brush. I'm actually going to show you a little example of traditional dry brushing on a piece that has a lot of detail. When they have a lot of detail, they're really easy because the paint just kind of does the work for you. Just in a kind of a dusting motion, you rub some of the paint off your brush on a piece of cardboard like I did, and you just go back and forth and rub the brush on the statue, and you see how it comes off very easy, and you get a nice two-tone effect like that with the paint. That's traditional dry brushing. However, some pieces are rather smooth, like this little Buddha here, especially on the back, there's not much detail. So I'm going to show you what often happens here. Let me get a little more paint. Often when folks go to dry brush a piece like this, they just get like streaks like that. And uh, I see that all the time at different shops and that, and it's fine, I guess. Uh, I think we can do better though. So here's the little trick I use. When a piece doesn't have much detail and you don't want to get those streaks, make sure you don't have a lot of paint on the brush. And instead of doing the brushing back and forth, kind of tap it like this. Just very lightly tap it and it'll blend that paint into the piece. And as you're doing it, you can kind of, where there is a little bit of detail, you can kind of tap and move the brush back and forth just a little bit so you're not filling in the details there. And if you tap it, you get this nice kind of soft effect instead of that harsh streaking effect. And then when you're very low on paint, you can kind of go back over and very lightly dust it over and just kind of blend everything in. So it's a combination of the dusting move as well as kind of a smushing, sponging move with the brush. And you do that, it gives you a much, much nicer finish instead of just the harsh streaks that you see so often. And then of course, we have more detail. Go back and forth, see how it picks up that detail. The statue does not look like it has a lot of detail when you just look at it, but once you paint it with the paint like this, you see it all pop out. It makes it really nice. And that's the idea. We don't want those streaks on this. We want to kind of smush it in, get that nice, soft, two-tone effect. The idea is that you don't want your average customer to know that it's painted. Most people that aren't familiar with statuary and how it's finished don't know that this is a painted finish. They just think it's a nice, natural finish of some sort. However, if it's covered with those paint streaks, it's obviously going to give away the secret that it's just painted. So, add a little more paint here. This guy's small, so I'll just finish him up real quick. Again, just kind of smush here and there. Smush on the face has a bit of detail, so let's brush it to get that. And then smush in to kind of sponge the paint around, get a nice, soft finish. And... I'm at a weird angle here, so I can't quite see if I've got the whole thing, but you're getting the idea, hopefully, by now, that it's a combination of sponging with the brush and light dusting. And you get a nice, soft, uniform uh, finish, a dry brush finish, without those streaks. Very simple. Might take you a couple times. The main trick is not to have a lot of paint on the brush. So that's it for today. I uh, hope to be back here soon, now that my life's getting back to normal, and have some more videos uh, in the near future. Thanks for watching.